Tap, I know we're a team that likes to share the goals around, but you're in danger of winning the win golden boot this season. Um, amazing game, amazing finish, and you must be so proud with those two goals. Oh yeah, I just said that to Anis in there. Me and uh, Toolsy had a little bet with him at the beginning of the season that we're going to score more goals with him. So I think that's four for me, two for uh, Anthony. We're on six combined. Anis has got a he's got a lot of catching up to do now. It's going to be interesting come the end of the season. But yeah, obviously delighted to score, delighted to score. It could have been anyone at the end. The, the balls, the deliveries that we were putting into the box. It's just lucky that I was in the right place at the right time for the first one and then the one at the end as well. Obviously games like that were didn't really come by last season. There wasn't the crowd, there weren't the atmosphere, there weren't yeah. really dramatic finishes. But you've probably heard the stories from days gone by of Wickham and you're seeing for yourself yeah. now just what team spirit and that kind of culture can generate in the last Exactly, yeah. I knew all about the, the team spirit and was aware of the, the culture here from my early days back at Mansfield, you know. We used to have really tough games against against Wickham and then obviously Wickham got promoted to League One when I was at Peterborough and them games were even tougher but to be a part of it it's just something special and um, like you said the fans there they were the 12th man at the end and it's times like that that we 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 if we had them last season you know in the championship we may have got an extra three to five points um, at home because at home we're, we're, we're a real good side and with them we're they make us that much, that much better. You've had some spells in the championship and not probably stayed in it as long as you'd want to, but how driven can you sense that yourself and your teammates are yeah. to get back to that level and, and prove that we can belong there and the US players belong there? Yeah, yeah, I've, I've not been in a change room like it. Everyone wants to get back there, the whole, the whole, the whole club. Um, and everyone's pulling in the same direction. Every single game, we're on it. We don't underestimate anyone. Um, we went into today's game saying, look, we're confident at the minute, but we, we don't want to show any complacency. And I don't think we did that, you know. I'm not saying that we played our best today, but it's just about three points, isn't it? And um, hopefully with a week's break now, we can refresh, come back, fully charged next week and travel up to Fleetwood and hopefully pick up another three points. Your name's been on the score sheet a few times. People are going to notice Wickham at the top end of the table. Are you hoping that might maybe attract some international recognition for yourself? Yeah, that would be brilliant. Obviously with the World Cup next year, playing for the national team, that would be... That's a dream of mine. Um, I think if we can stay top, you know, there could be a few lads that obviously could get international call-ups and that's uh, yeah that's that's one of my goals along with um getting promoted this season